I'm Forrest Saunders at the state capitol. Florida's insurer of last resort, Citizens Property Insurance, says it remains committed to a double-digit rate hike that could go into effect later this year. That's as we see another insurer depart the state and more worries that things are not as sound as lawmakers had hoped. Tuesday's news that big-name insurer Farmers was departing created another shockwave of concern that Florida's property insurance market remains unstable despite recent rounds of legislative reform. I'd like to give you a brief overview of the current state of citizens and the state of the market. Wednesday, Florida's state-backed insurer citizens may have added fuel to the fire. CEO Tim Sirio told the Board of Governors as Floridians continue to struggle finding affordable choices in the private market, more are turning to citizens, what should be a final option. Unfortunately, the state's residual insurer, the insurer of last resort, has become the largest insurer in Florida. Citizens now has more than 1.3 million property insurance policies, an increase of more than 170,000 since January. It's on track to hit 1.7 million by year's end. Sirio said citizens is too competitive with private companies and needs approval of a near 13% rate hike, which is still pending with state regulators. Nobody wants their insurance, uh, wants to pay more for insurance, but even if OIR approves our requested rate increase, our policyholders will still be paying on average about 44% below the rest of the private market. That may be, but new citizens policyholders like Willie Butts still don't like the sound of it. His coverage already jumped to grand when he switched from a private carrier that was ready to jack up his rates even higher. I had no other choice in that move. The disabled veteran from Apopka said he feels like lawmakers aren't doing enough to fix things. But I do know that this is something that cannot be ignored any longer because it's only going to get worse. Over the last year, the GOP majority installed reinsurance programs and cut incentives to sue insurers, saying they were two of the biggest drivers of high costs. The caveat has been that reform will still take about a year to reach full effect, they say. I've got contacted by a number of investment groups that want to say, hey, I want to come to Florida. I want to start up. I want to bring an insurance carrier there. But you know what? These guys don't want to come here till November. I mean, and you can't blame them. They, they're going to wait till after hurricane season. Democrats, however, not buying it. Trickle down economics doesn't work and neither does trickle down property insurance relief. A group Wednesday said the GOP had mismanaged the crisis and called for tougher regulation. They pushed for the state to use its budget surplus to create easier access to reinsurance. We are sitting on billions of dollars in surplus that's supposed to be available for a rainy day. Well,